Hello there, Muskie fans. I'm Kyle Isaac. And I'm Hillary Zala, and this is Xavier News. an extreme fan? If so, join the extreme fans board. Today is your last chance to apply, so make sure you submit your application by 5 o'clock. Email Claire McGrath with any questions. The Xavier Dining Hall has started a contest to win an earth machine. This compost machine will help students reduce their carbon footprint and learn to recycle waste. It even fits in your dorm room. If interested, you can enter to win at xavier.edu backslash dining. While news was on a brief hiatus for the past few weeks, Xavier's construction crew is well on their way in the building of the new quad on campus. Kyle Isaac witnessed the progress over spring break and he has more. Xavier University is in the process of making a step forward in the new campus. The memories are going down, but they're in the process of digging their way to create new ones for future students. So Deb, what is going on with these houses? Why are they being torn down? Well, we're tearing down four houses today on the corner of uh, Ledgewood and Harold here to make way for the new residential and dining complex. What is going to be in this new complex? The complex will be comprised of four residential halls and a new dining facility. So once it's built, we'll have about 525 new beds for students and a dining facility that will seat 800 people. What kind of excitement will this new complex bring to the university? I think this is going to bring a lot of excitement to the university because, as you know, we're growing our, our undergraduate class and we need the space. And there's been a great interest in Xavier. We've been having record number of applications here at the university. So we want to make sure that we have room to welcome all those students. Katie, how is it with this new addition to campus? How does it feel to see the house torn down? Oh my goodness, it's sad. Um, it's, it's somewhat bittersweet in that there were a lot of good memories that took place for students and staff in that house all these years, but at the same time, it's exciting to see the progress that Xavier University is making, and um, I look forward to a future with new residence halls, new students, and new life. What are the memories you're going to take away from this house and bring to the new Xavier? Oh, um, there's so many memories, but I think there was just such um, a sense of fellowship from students of all different backgrounds that gathered in the houses, not only at Campus Ministry, but Peace and Justice. And those memories will continue to form in our new offices, um, but new memories will form with so many more new students coming to Xavier and having a new place to live and gather and um, to continue. The building is scheduled to be open in August 2011. This is Kyle Isaac for Xavier University. Speaking of campus ministry, part three of a series in GSC entitled Homosexuality and the Church will be happening on Thursday, April 29th at 9 p.m. in room 214. This discussion will address homosexuality in the church and how it plays a role in people's lives today. Check this event out and bring your friends because all are welcome. Another fun event to consider is the Last Blast Student Day, Appreciation Day Barbecue. This will also take place on the 29th from 1 to 4 p.m. on the green space. The activities will include food, giveaways, inflatables, and even a henna tattoo artist. Come out and enjoy your last few days at Xavier before the summer. Music and rhythms have been filling Xavier's campus the past, the past few weeks. Our own Sarah Nickham went out into, into the field recently to find out more about the, the calm, cool, and soothing jazz band. Remember when you learned how to use your inside voice? Or that you shouldn't make noise when class is in session? Or kick holes in walls? Or play with electrical cords? Well, these kids never did. This is the Xavier University Jazz Ensemble. 
Tucked away in a practice room at Edgecliff, this small but mighty group of musicians have been working all year to produce totally unique performances on Xavier's campus. It's a diverse band of individuals from business, English, psychology, and other backgrounds who meet twice a week to play some good jazz. Classy bunch, right? But when performance time comes, these kids know how to put on a show. What makes this group special is that every piece of music they play is arranged by students and directors from Xavier. You won't hear these pieces performed by any other ensemble in the world. John DeFore, the band's director, has an impressive resume of musical credits. After playing in the United States Air Force Band, he went on to record with Woody Herman and other jazz legends. And for 30 years, John has been invited to conduct at the NFL Commissioner's pre-Super Bowl party. And of course, another essential envoy is the band's manager, his wife Sue. The group is so laid back you would never guess at all the hard work and intuitive knowledge that every player contributes. Everyone knows how to improvise and blithely lays down world-class solos at every practice. The ensemble also features a vocal group called the Schizophrenic Voices. Every two years, the band produces a studio album. Last weekend, after their final concert, the band headed into the studio to record the 2010 installment. Studio recording is a totally different experience than playing a live show. The microphones are much less forgiving, and getting 20 college kids to hold still after every take is a task in itself. But these guys are professionals. When the rowdy spirit required to make good jazz meets the professionalism it takes to be a musician, the result is an attitude of ultimate cool. The great thing about jazz is freedom. Every time someone steps up to play, they produce something different. You never know what you're going to get, but coming from these guys, you know it will be good. For Xavier News, I'm Sarah Nickham on the Muskie.